Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and I'd like to officially welcome you to this special edition of Mikey Live. Of course, we've told you several weeks ago that we are um, in this pandemic, and during this pandemic, we are going to try to see if we can get to speak to several stakeholders in terms of their involvement in the fight and response um, against the COVID-19. Today, we are pleased to have with us uh, Ms. Arlene Friday. Now, she became the chief executive officer of the Grenada Hotel and Tourism Association back in December of 2019 and has held that position since. Ms. Friday holds an MBA in international business and has over 12 years of management, advocacy and marketing experience across various industries internationally. Today, we say hello to her and welcome to our program. Good evening, Mikey. And good evening to the listening and viewing audience. I'm pleased to be here tonight. Okay, and uh, we are also happy to have you with us. And let's just get the ball rolling right now. I know that you've been really, really, really um, busy lately. And so we're going to be talking about that. Um, so give us the current, the, given the current uh, crisis that Grenada is now facing, how has the, the tourism industry and sector been affected? Well, we've been in, you know, as you know, um, the entire hospitality sector has been affected tremendously. So from restaurants, who's, you know, many have had to close their doors because due to, you know, being able to only do takeouts, um, hotels that can't really fully service their guests. As you know, we can't, you know, people are not allowed to go to the beach due to the current situation many cancellation of flights and the list goes on the dive sector community have been truly affected as well and it all you know it all basically trickles down to vendors and everyone because tourism is really everyone's business it's the entire community you know we can infiltrate all aspects of grenada right now so we are all we are all truly affected at this time and, and I know we can talk about the, the businesses and so on, but even the employees, uh, the, the personnel, um, what kind of feedback are you getting from them? It's difficult. I mean, you know, of course, you, you have employees who are scared. You have just like anyone else. However, you have to remember many people within the hospitality sector actually are vaccinated. So those who might be somewhat ill, you know, they are bouncing back a lot faster than others, but it still affects productivity levels. It, it, you know, it affects just the whole, the atmosphere, as you know, because everyone knows someone right now who has COVID. So this is personal, it's business, it's work. It's, it affects the very fabric of, of Grenada right now. From where you sit, um, I know that there are a lot of sectors who have been affected by unfortunate deaths and so on. From where you sit, are you aware of any deaths from your sector? Um, currently, no. But, you know, Grenada is a small place. You know, it, it does not take much to say that you know someone who's died from COVID. Not necessarily within our sector, but very close to our sector. So families, families are affected. So even though it may not be hospitality per se, you know, we, we all know various people who have passed away suddenly from this dread, dread, this is such a terrible disease, you know, this dreadful disease. So it's, it's affected us all in, in numerous ways, you know, mental health, um, you know, in terms of being able to work right now, um, you know, many people are at home because they can't work because right. how, do we, how do we bring in employees when, you know, you don't have anyone to, to service right now? Right. right. So it, it, it affects us in many different levels. Now, what role does the Grenada Hotel and, and uh, Tourism Association have to play in addressing the, the COVID crisis? Well, you know, we've been at the helm from the beginning since last year. You know, we were very, um, you know, we spe spearheaded many different things and were heavily involved, you know, in the protocols, developing protocols in terms of how we keep our staff and our guests safe. Um, we helped in the development of that. We also, even now, you know, we started doing a lot of Let's Talk Vax forums, you know, to educate and to let people know a little bit more about vaccines 
and and you know all the various questions that people have you know people are concerned so we we recognize that you know people have questions so we allow people to come ask their questions answer some of the concerns that they have and make it really practical um, for them um, we also were very involved in the launch of the vaccination campaign in february for the hospitality sector um, you know we helped to to bring it you know it was one of our member organizations radisson hotel um, that that really i mean it benefited us all because it, we brought basically the vaccines into the community to make it a safe and comfortable en environment for for many people and and now um we've kind of like you know as this has progressed you know we all thought COVID would be a short-lived thing you know however we all have learned differently and as an association we've had to adapt um basically we've decided to you know help the ministry of health however we can, really just to undergird and support them um, through volunteerism. You know, we supply volunteers at the National Stadium. Um, we um, help to spearhead the mobile vaccination campaign that's going on right now. And as now that we recognize, you know, the public need for the hotlines to be reinforced, we're using the volunteers, our volunteer pools, to, to basically help supply the hotline. You know, so wherever we see a need, we're trying to fill in the gap. Um, so on, on every level. Um, so again, you know, GHDA tries to step in at all levels, whether it's from, you know, from government to public policy, to our members, to the community, you know, because it's, it's in every aspect of our society. And I think it's, it's all interrelated. So we, we don't just try to, to help out in, in, in one area. We try to see the need and we try to meet, meet that need as best we can. Well, I am being, I am, um, I'm surprised myself to understand that you have been so involved because we see all of these initiatives happening and we're not sure as to who is spearheading those initiatives. And you're saying that the Grenada Hotel and Tourism Association, you guys have been um, doing all of that, you know, but I guess what you've been so busy doing that you were not saying anything uh, that you are actually involved doing this, right? Um, yes. Go ahead. But, you know, honestly, you know, again, it takes, it takes a village. You know, and I don't want to, I don't want to say this is just GHDA, you know, you have the Ministry of Health, you have local nurses, local doctors, you have SGU who's joined in the campaign. It really does take a village, you know, and it's going to take us all to help combat COVID-19. So as it relates to volunteers, are you, are you, are you comfortable where you guys are or are you still calling for more volunteers to assist? And if you are, how can persons get involved? People can get involved several different ways. You know, being on the front line, I won't necessarily say is for everyone, but you can still help out. You can help out in terms of the hotline support. Um, if you have technical skills, local doctors, local nurses, if you have any spare time, you can you can also give us, you know, a call or email us as well. And right now, you know, we are also calling for international support. You know, I've connected to um, the Grenada Nurses Association of New York, um, also to Grenadian physicians living abroad. And we have connected them all to the COVID diaspora office so that there would be a cohesive, you know, type of supportive system for Grenada. So we are involved in many different levels. So you can, you know, email us at info at ghda.org. You can, if you are a caterer, if you're a cook, if you like to supply food for the volunteers, if you have access to a pickup truck, a van, some level of transportation, and a driver, we need you. You know, so whether it's to donate cases of water, snacks, juices, you know, there's so many different ways you can get involved. And if you'd like to know more, again, email me at info at gHTA. Dot org and just say volunteers you know volunteer assistance or you can say you'd like to sponsor and just put that in your heading when you when you email us and we'll definitely get back in touch with you that that, that sounds good um I, I also noticed that there was a GoFundMe that was started a couple of days ago um are you involved in that as well 
Yes, I am. <laughs> On many different levels, I'm involved. So, so yeah, so basically, you know, I reached out to, you know, different people abroad, you know, saying what the needs are, you know, that we need PPE now. We need medical equipment now. These are the list. This is the list. This is what's needed at the hospital. And, and basically what was decided was a GoFundMe page um, that was started by Michelle Friday. Um, we decided that that might be the best avenue that, you know, here we can actually just pull out from those funds to, to get exactly what we need for right now. So, you know, immediate assistance. So instead of just waiting for, for supply to come in from abroad, that we would have the funds that we could tap into to use here in Grenada immediately. Um, so there's a lot of different things going on um, all at once um, because truly this is a war and it takes all of us. It takes many different levels of support. It takes um, those who are abroad. It takes those who are here in Grenada. It takes all of us. And, and you know, basically it's Tupa guy. It's all of we, you know, we're all in this right now together. Right. And, and so from you, from your perspective, how can Grenada really overcome this crisis? Right now, you know, as you see um, the climate of Grenada, you know, and as you're seeing the fact that so many people are ill right now, it's changing the very fabric of Grenada. And truly, we believe at Grenada Hotel and Tourism Association and the rest of the tourism sector, we see that the only way forward is through vaccination. Many people will wonder why. Why do we say that? You know, even though you may see some people get COVID even though they're vaccinated. The reason why we say that is that when you when you look into it, you see that there's 11, you're 11 times more likely to die from COVID-19 if you're unvaccinated. We're not saying that it's it's perfect. We're not saying it's a you know, it's a perfect science. However, you know, if you have just that one ounce of extra security, that one ounce, you know, the, the, the probability that you can safeguard yourself, you know, we believe that you should. We honestly, I understand it's your choice, but I believe that, you know, when given the tools, try to take advantage of them um, because, you know, many people aren't as as lucky, I hate to say that, you know, I've, I've lost many people to COVID um, and, it's, and it's, it's really a devastating disease. So again, I would also, you know, take this time to appeal to people, you know, if you even want more information about, COVID, uh, about um, vaccines and what does it mean to get vaccinated, you know, again, you can reach out to us at info at ghca.org. For those who've decided they don't want to make sure that you wear your mask. You know, it's so important to wear your mask. It's important to practice, you know, the right hygiene at this time, sanitize at all costs, because this disease is deadly. And so the way we see forward, how we move the nation or move the dial forward is through vaccination. All right. And again, you, you and your team, you have been out um, doing the vaccinations and you guys are going to be out this weekend again, right? Yes. So this is a continuous campaign. So we'll be out weekly as long as we need to be. We'll be there. Um, so you'll see us look out for us. We'll have various pop ups. You'll see more pop ups um, this weekend. I believe that we're hitting St. Andrews, St. Patrick's. Um, I believe we'll be in month two in the limes. So we are hitting many different areas. And if we're not in your area this weekend, look out for us next weekend. You know, don't think that we've forgotten about you. We are, you know, we're thinking about the entire nation and, and we'll, we will get there. So this is continuous. Look out for us on the road. Listen to a loudspeaker. We'll be there. <laughs> And, you know, there are a lot of people, and I have to say this, that has a lot of theories and so on. Explain to us again why you guys are doing this. Why do you see the need to be, be so invested and so involved in, in people's well-being? Well, I mean, I think because it, it affects us all, you know. I mean, to be honest, I mean, I think it becomes personal. I think each person 
has to figure out their why. You know, why do you want to protect your home? Why do you want to protect your household? Why do you want to protect your loved ones? You might have little children at home. You might have granny at home. You might have babies who can't, can't get vaccinated. You know, I think we all have to discover our reason why. You know, I think I had to make that decision personally. I had to think of my 96 year old father. And I said, you know what? Let me get vaccinated. You know, and if I'm thinking about my own family and I'm thinking about protecting the my loved ones, you know, it's it would be selfish of me not to think of the rest of Grenada. So we're doing as much as we're doing so that we can truly make a difference in Grenada because we love Grenada and we want Grenada to to rise again. And we know that we will rise again. But the only way that we will do it is if we do it together. Well said. Um, we all need to figure out our whys and that that's necessary. Any additional information for us before we wrap up today's engagement? Again, um, look out for us um, on the road. We will be out there in various villages this weekend. For more information, please email me at info at ghta.org. Again, we are Grenada Hotel and Tourism Association. We might be tourism, but we're about the community. So, you know, we're all in this and every fabric you know, of Grenada, I think we should all be invested. It's, you know, some people wonder, okay, why is tourism involved in this? Because we love Grenada and we're about Grenada's business as well. So get involved, be about Grenada and, and reach out to us at info at ghda.org. Thank you very much, Arlene, and all the best to you and your team, all right? I, I genuinely wish you guys all the best. I know that you've been working hard and the, the others are working hard as well. And um, I hope that um, that call for more volunteers and so on, that that call will be answered and so that you can get more hands on the table so that at least it makes your work a little bit easier, all right? Thank you so much, Mikey, for allowing me to share this here. And I hope to see you on the road too. You know, you could come out and, and, and we're there. We're there to support All right. you too. All okay. right. Well, well, yeah, look out for me, man. I'll be there as well. Yes. Okay, All right. good. All right. Thank you very much again. All the best. All right. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. All right, great. And, folks, that was... Uh, uh, Miss Arlene Friday, and of course, uh, she's the Chief Executive Officer of the Grenada Hotel and uh, Tourism sorry, Authority Association, anyhow you want to put it. But of course, we told you that we have to um, get to the people, to the decision makers, to the people on the ground, to have a better appreciation as to the efforts that is being put out so that uh, Grenada's numbers go down as it relates to um, COVID-19, the number of infections, the number of deaths and so on. And these are people who are out there just doing it for, for, for the country and you need to know about it. All right? You can expect more of these engagements. We have another um, in another couple of days, so you can look forward to that as well. All right, so that's it for today's uh, special program. Please remember uh, to like and share to your family members and your friends so that they too can have a view of this program. So we'll see you next time. All the best. Take care.